Hello race fans, it's Kane Jr. and welcome to your race recap for round 3 of the VOR iRacing IndyCar series from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Your starting top 5 are as follows. Ivan Hernandez should be on pole position, but due to some technical difficulties, he will be starting at the rear of the grid. On pole position in his place, Oscar Gonzalez. P2 belongs to Luis Gonzalez. P3, Julian Altina. P4, Isaac Morris. And P5 belongs to Yashish Manahar. As the green flag dropped, Isaac Morris looking to repeat his California start at the start of the season. Got off to a fantastic start. He looked in the middle line between Luis and Oscar Gonzalez, but he wisely backed off as he knew it was a 120 lap race and there was plenty of time to get the passes made for P1. Luis Gonzalez found himself in the ideal position. P1 on the inside line, which turned out to be the most ideal racing line all night long. Behind him was Isaac Morris using the slipstream to get around Oscar Gonzalez on the outside. And for an opening lap, it was clean and incident free. Lap 4 saw the race's first incident as it appeared that Manahar collided with Oscar Gonzalez, but riding on board with Yashish Manahar, no contact was made and we stayed green. Lap 7 saw the race's first battle for P1 as Isaac Morris and Luis Gonzalez have a bit of a disagreement over track position, ultimately sending Luis Gonzalez into the outside barrier, but the race remains green. Reynolds and Sadler collided as Reynolds appeared to tap Sadler with his front wing on Sadler's left rear tire, sending both cars into multiple spins, yet coming to a rest at the same location, awkwardly staring at each other. Hernandez's run of bad luck continued on lap 10 as he gets sent into the outside barrier, riding the top of the barrier like a roller coaster, this time finally bringing out the race's first full course caution of the night. Lap 12 saw an incident that you might see on ESPN's not top 10 of the week. Sadler trying to get his lap back, gets it a bit wrong, and back into the pit lane he goes. The lap 14 restart saw the league's newest rule take effect into succession. All cars on the restart must leave a three tenths of a second gap in between the car in front of them and it paid off. Laps 29 and 30 saw Julian Altina challenging Isaac Morris for the overall lead of the race. Altina tried multiple attempts around the outside of Morris but Morris was wisely holding on to the inside line. The inside line was the place to be and Morris held on for P1 for the moment being. Also on lap 30, a bit of understeer for Yashish Manahar exiting turn 4 in P3. This causes him to hit the barrier a few times and then once more into turn 1 to avoid contact with Sean Reynolds. On board with Sean Reynolds, it appears contact was not made, but that was awfully close. Lap 36 saw Philip Axelson making his VOR debut, running in the top 5, having a fantastic run until he hits the outside barrier, flipping his car a few times, causing the race's second caution of the night. Under caution saw P1 and 2, Altina and Morris making their first pit stop, but Morris beats Altina out of the pit lane to hold on to P1. Lap 49 saw the race's first blue flag incident as your race leader Isaac Morris trying to put Sean Reynolds a lap down, but Sean Reynolds finding it just a little bit too much drifts up the embankment, hitting Isaac Morris, sending him into a spin, bringing out the race's second caution of the night. Isaac Morris having no choice but to pit under the yellow and causing him to lose a lap. Even on lap 56 of the race, the run of bad luck for Ivan Hernandez continued even more as he's trying to go around the outside of Sean Reynolds. Reynolds getting a bit loose, sending Hernandez into the outside barrier, bringing out another caution. Lap 61 saw the race leaders pit under yellow. For Altina, it was his last pit stop of the night. He is going to make it the rest of the way on fuel if he can stretch it out, but this causes Isaac Morris to reclaim the lead. Lap 74 was new territory for Isaac Morris. All race long, he was so used to having P1 and the inside line. Now he has to do what Julian Altina tried to do to him a few laps back. From P2, he's got to go around the outside to make the pass for P1. But the outside line just not working quite yet. The inside line is still the place to be. And Luis Gonzalez holds on to P1. Lap 82 saw Morris and Gonzalez come together for a third time tonight as Morris sends Gonzalez into the outside barrier. Heavy damage for both cars involved. On board with Isaac Morris's POV. Looks like he just lost rear traction causing the car to rotate. Sending the car into Luis Gonzalez's path. 
Into the infield grass goes Gonzalez. On board with Julian Altina, who got a front row seat of the incident. He's taking over P1. I'm sure he's not complaining about the incident. All eyes were on Julian Altina and P1 under the yellow. He opted to not take a pit stop. He's still on approximately 20 lap old tires, still trying to stretch his fuel. Lap 91 saw Oscar Gonzalez recharging his way through the field as he reclaims P2 from Matthew Green. Great run by Matthew Green. That's the first time we've heard from him so far this race. He falls back to P3 and P2 for Oscar Gonzalez. The very next lap saw Yashish Manahar taking P3 over from Matthew Green. Green still struggling on those old tires. Oscar Gonzalez caught up to Julian Altina for the lead of the race on lap 109. Keep in mind, Altina is on about 50 lap old tires, and that's why Gonzalez is able to stick around the outside and hold tight with Altina. But Altina gets sucked onto the apron and in through the infield grass he goes, opening up his own lawn mowing business. Riding on board with Altina, amazing drive by him to keep the car pointed in a straight line and off the barrier. Lap 117 saw heartbreak for the Dutchman as he tried to make his fuel last, but unfortunately on the back straight, he just runs dry and around the outside goes Yashish Manahar. Tough break for Altina. He had such a fantastic race all night long, but he runs out of fuel. Lap 120 of 120, it is Oscar Gonzalez taking his maiden victory of the VOR iRacing IndyCar Series. P2 belongs to Yashish Manahar, Jabrio Garcia for P3, Brian Kerrigan P4, and Matthew Green for P5. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's race recap. We hope to see you next week in Michigan.